What's on YouTube? It's your boy JP. He's earning keys and it's too easy about video today. And we got something that I haven't done in a long time. We got Bernard Manning. <laughs> Bernard. It's not Bernard. It's Bernard. <laughs> we got Bernard Manning. This is Britain's funniest comedian. So this is like a compilation of some of his best clips. And you guys really liked the It Ain't Half Hot Mum um, when I put that up. So I definitely going to have to start putting that up again. I'm going to have to probably drop some more episodes since you guys really like that. Um, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate all you guys. Um, check out my other channels. I just dropped a gaming video on my gaming channel and my my true crime channel. Um, I'm going to work on the video with that pretty soon. But uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys. Let's get it, man. Look at this scruffy cunt on the first row. Have you ever seen a you make a good tramp if you smarten your fucking self up a bit. <laughs> Where are you from? This old fella here. Are you gonna go? Uncle fucking Remus here. Mm. Uncle Fester. <laughs> Them see through wigs are very nice. Are they expensive? <laughs> Look, you know. If I had a head like that, I'd have you circumcised. <laughs> oh my god. What's your job? What do you do? I'm a painter. A painter? What do you paint? Anything. Anything? You want to paint some fucking hairs on your head? <laughs> <laughs> want to see Pavarotti last week? What a miserable cunt. He don't like you joining in, does he? Mm. There's two Jews walking through Glasgow and a big gang of these skinheads come walking towards him. He said, look at these bastards here, Morris. We're going to get mugged here. He said, I think we are. I said, I'm fucking sure we are. Anyway, here's that 600 quid here, over here. <laughs> of course. Therapy court, the judge says you're charged with battering your wife to death with a hammer. And a voice at the back of the court shouted, you fucking shit house." And they all went quiet, you know. He says you're also charged with battering your daughter to death with a hammer. And a voice at the back of the court shouted, you lousy bastard. The judge said, well, this can't go on. He says, come here. He says, I can understand you've been a bit upset about this case. But any more outbursts like this, I shall charge you with contempt. Now, what's the idea? He said, well, I lived next door to this bastard for over 20 years, he said. Every time I asked to borrow hammer, he said, I'm fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> them French, I don't fucking trust them, I tell you. I went in the cafe over there. I, I said, have you got frog's legs? He said, yes. I said, up in the kitchen and get us a fucking ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls on the cash out at the supermarket. One says, You can always tell a money follows from the single follows. How do you do that? He said, Watch this. A follow come up. He said, One mushroom, one egg, one tomato, one slice of bacon, and one tin of beans. He said, You're a single fella, you aren't you? He said, How do you know that? She said, You're a right ugly cunt. <laughs> Well, I joined the foreign legions, you know, do you get a fuck out here, all this fucking sand like this? He said, the camel, he said, shed number six, I'll boot you for two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. He opened the shed door, this fellow got stuck right over his camel, give it a right fucking. <laughs> the sergeant said, you dirty bastard, why don't you ride into town like the rest of the fucking place? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the inspector going round one of these asylums, the fellow stood up in bed like that. He said, who are you supposed to be? He said, supposed to be, you cunt, he said. I'm Napoleon. He said, who told you that? He says, God. And the fellow in the next bed said, I never told you no such fucking thing. <laughs> fellow walked in a pub with a crocodile, and the landlord said, get it out. He said, it does tricks. He says, tricks, you barmy bastard. Get that crocodile out of here. And now, move with the crocodile. He says, you're going to have a thrombosis, you the way you're going on. He said, fucking hell, calm down. Not seen the trick yet, have you? Watch this. Holds the crocodile's mouth like that. Put his prick in his mouth like that. Got a bit of wood out of his back pocket and bang, right across the head. The crocodile went, ow, ow, Fucking hell, he said. You've got some bottles to drop like that. He said, I told you it was good, he said. All that fucking screaming and shouting. Anybody in this pub like to try it for 50 quid? 
This little old woman said, I'll try it. She said, but don't hit me on the fucking head as I did. <laughs> oh, my God! Yo! Oh, my God! Two Irish girls went down for disability pension, cracking on there was death. The first one went in and she just shut the door behind you. He says, right. He says, fuck off. <laughs> You're not fucking deaf. I've just actually shut the door. He shouted right and shut the door. Out! Get out! On his way out, he said to his mate, don't shut that fucking door. He's trying to trick you. <laughs> his mate went in, he said, shut the door behind you. He said, shut it, you fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> English fella lived next door. This packy had a goose. He laid egg in his garden. He went round. He said, I've come for me goose egg. He said, me goose is laid egg. He said, oh, no, 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 no. No, the egg belongs to me, he said. The egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. He says, give us that fucking egg. <laughs> he said, I'm telling you, the egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. You will never mind Indian law, we'll have English law just for a fucking change. <laughs> I kick you in the bollocks, you kick me in the bollocks, the one that gives up first owns the egg. As long as that's the law, he said, you wouldn't give a right kick in the bollocks. He said, oh, fucking hell, he said. Oh, that fucking smart start, he said. But it's my turn now. He says, keep the fucking egg. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fellow going, going back to Ireland, an Irishman going back to Ireland. That's a fucking change, isn't it? <laughs> Got in this taxi at Liverpool, the taxi driver says, a long journey to the airport. He said, we'll have a few riddles. He looked in the middle, in the middle he said, uh, brothers and sisters, have I gone? But that man's father is my father's son. Who is he? Yeah, he sort of said, uh, I don't know. He said, it's me, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck me, he said, you're right. <laughs> he got off at trial and he says to his father, uh, I'll give you a bit of a riddle, he said. <laughs> Looked in the mirror, he said, uh, brothers and sisters, am I known, but that man's father is my father's son. Who is it? His father said, how the fuck do I know? <laughs> he said, you ignorant cunt. <laughs> He's a taxi driver in Liverpool. <laughs> Two Irish fellas just knocked about with his patty, and the patty got knocked down. Kill's still there, the cop said, what was his name? He said, we never knew his name, sir. Just used to move them, you know. He said, where did he live? He said, no, we knew fuck all about the man, he said. The only thing we knew about him, he had two arseholes. He said, how do you mean? He said, every pub we went in, they used to say, here's that patty with them two arseholes. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What was that? What was that last joke? What was that? <laughs> I guess it's just, but you know, I guess it's what they would call, um, like anti woke, even though I really hate how they really, like, now all of a sudden the word woke is like hijacked because you back in the day, woke didn't mean like nowadays, it's like when you say someone's woke, it basically means like they're a liberal. That's basically what you're saying. But like before, woke meant like, you know, you were in tune with things, you were. You weren't. You were aware of what was going on. Now it's like woke is just basically describing a liberal, according to like most conservative people. It's like, oh, you're woke. You're woke. Oh my God, you're so woke. You won't let me be openly racist. You're so woke. Oh my God, you're so woke. All this woke stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just a lot of wildness. That's why I don't get into politics, man. Because it's just like. People are just so stuck in their opinions, and people just swear that they're right half the time, and it's just like, a lot of you dudes, a lot of these people are just blowing smoke on both sides, if we're being honest, on both sides of the spectrum, a lot of people are just blowing smoke. But Bernard Manning is crazy. <laughs> oh, there's a packy with two assholes. Uh, how do you know? Oh, there's a packy with two assholes. <laughs> like, like, what? <laughs> wow. But, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all you guys for tuning into my channel leave a like hit that subscribe button if you're new turn on that post notification bell if you haven't already i appreciate all the support you guys give me uh, check out my other two channels um thank you please be safe stay on the grind i'm out peace